potatoes. Scoop, skip potatoes. Yeah. I'm doing it. Scoop, skip potatoes. Scoop, this skip is... potatoes. happy people and welcome to my channel thank you so much for hanging out in my kitchen with me today again what are we making today we're making some buttery garlicky mashed potatoes with some of these delicious how do you call them i can never say it right bratwursts or something like that they are really delicious i bought this from costco by the way with french onion soup gravy it is very very delicious and we're also making some the boys are home and we're also making guys today some rainbow carrots we're going to roast them with some honey it's going to be mwah, delicious delicious meal you guys i hope you're having a wonderful day it's really really beautiful today here in texas um, as you all know we live right on the lake when my uh, eight-year-old goes to school me and my one and a half year old we go for walks every day around the lakes it is gorgeous out today, a little windy, but really beautiful. Um, the ducks are back, the turtles are out and about, and there are so, so many of them here. It's just beautiful. People are starting to fish again. It's just really so gorgeous. Matthew really, really enjoys these walks. And then this happened, which by the way, every time he falls asleep during our walks, he has the best nap ever. Okay guys, here I'm having some potatoes on the stove uh, coming almost to a boil for our mashed potatoes. Now we're going to go ahead and cut these links. We are going, I'm not going to cook them whole. I'm going to cut them in little circles. It's easier to cook easier to eat if you enjoy this recipe you guys give me the thumbs up and subscribe it really does help our channel a lot i usually like to have a plan ahead of time or maybe find a recipe that you know i'll follow but like this when i'm just kind of doing my thing you know i start with one thing in mind but then i change my mind <laughs> and i add other things i like to experiment with food i, I really do i like cooking in general honestly the kitchen is my favorite place in the house i love cooking i i very very much enjoy it to me for me this is not a task it's because i just love it so much so i remember i used to watch cooking channel all the time um, when I was in college, when I when I uh, uh, went to nursing school and things like that, I would come when I would come home. I'd have some time. I would always watch Rachel Ray the thirty minute meals. You know okay, that should be enough. And for now, I'm going to go ahead and put these bad boys in the freezer until the next meal I make with them. I'm gonna put a little bit of oil, you guys. I guess not so much because you know they do have fat in them. Let's go ahead and cut this. Ooh, this onion needs some work. Okay, these are all washed beautifully. How do I want to cut them? Like this. You're watching Ratatouille? I used to love Ratatouille. Just like that, you guys. Yeah. Okay, there's a one. There's two. This one's right here. They're almost done cooking. It's okay because we're gonna cook them some more, but for now I'm gonna put them on the side, you guys, because we're gonna cook the onion in here. We're gonna leave the grease at the bottom. While this is cooking over here, Let's go ahead and 
peel some colorful carrots. These are called the rainbow carrots. Okay guys, I went ahead and washed them. Oh, look how pretty this is. Oh my goodness, I love the color. Do you see this? It's really pretty. Matches my nails. Oh, hello. Look how beautiful this is. Do you guys see this rainbow over here? It is gorgeous. Oh, I love it. Let's put this to the side. Let's get back here and see what is going on. We're gonna let it cook for just a few more minutes. And you know what I'm gonna do, you guys? I am making gravy, kind of, for the mashed potatoes. So we're gonna use some French onion soup. Stay tuned for that. Guys, I'm adding this back right here. Maybe I needed a bigger pan. Maybe we'll be okay. Now, I will be adding some French onion soup. We're gonna make this gravy. I think it's going to be delish. It's not just gravy. Oh, this smells so good. This is with beef stock. I'm going to add both since I did cook a lot in here. Matthew, what are you doing, sweetie? Let it cook, but we're not done. I'm gonna add here some pepper. Actually, I'll add lots of pepper because we like pepper. Adding some salt. About one third cup of flour. About a cup of this beef broth. This is half a cup right here. And you guys, let it simmer like this on low, medium heat for about another maybe 10 minutes. Okay, guys, now we are going to cook this beautiful rainbow carrots. For about, I don't know, a couple minutes until they get a little crisp. I'll show you guys here in a minute. In the meantime, make sure you get ready your apple cider. We're gonna need two tablespoons of um, honey, and we're gonna need, it asks for fresh rosemary. I don't have fresh, I have dried, so I'm gonna use just a little bit of dried rosemary. Salt, pepper done. Actually, you know what? We're gonna go ahead and put the salt and pepper right now. There you go. And mix it, mix it. Okay guys, they look pretty roasted. Oh, that's perfection. You see, this is great. Okay, so let's go ahead now. We'll add some honey. You know what, I feel like one um, tablespoon should be enough here for the amount that I have. I'm gonna put a little bit of apple cider vinegar. Um, just like that. And a little bit of rosemary, not too much, it's very potent. Let's pull it all together. It smells great, it smells great. Let's try these. 
Oh, this is really, really good. Okay, this is all done. Well, let's make some mashed potatoes. All right, guys, today we are gonna be doing a how-to video on proper mashing potatoes etiquette. Uh, no, you're Those not. Those of you who have been watching uh, the Bogart Marcus channel for some time know my culinary skill set is extremely limited. And therefore, I am reduced to tasks such as mashing potatoes. So, to get things started, step one, mashing potatoes. You gotta have potatoes. Uh, step two, you gotta have a device. Uh, step three, this is the motion. <clears throat> step four, make faces and sounds. So it looks like you're exerting effort and being a part of the dinner. Urgh. Okay. Urgh. Just, ah! Mm. Anyway, how's your day going? Okay, guys, I showed you um, the garlic and the butter when I took it off the, the stove, but I didn't tell you. So what you do is put the butter, you know, on low heat, and while it's melting, go ahead and, you know, uh, grate garlic cloves in here. I used a lot, as you can see, because we like garlic. But the trick is not to cook the garlic, you guys. I don't even know what I'm looking at. I should be looking there. Not to cook the garlic through. The trick is to only, once the garlic is in there, the butter is melted, go ahead and mixy, mixy for about 20, 30 seconds or so. Not too long. We only want the butter to absorb the garlic flavor. We don't want to cook the butter. I mean, the garlic because then it becomes really dry and it's just not good trust me this one when it's barely cooked mostly raw yeah raw that's the best for your mashed potatoes you'll notice as i've been mashing potatoes for probably some 37 years i'll use several techniques one of my favorite techniques is the diagonal mash you put a little more shoulder into it and you tend oh to get God. a deeper mash overall which results in a fluffier potato Okay, so we want to use multiple techniques and we use the mash and roll where we're mashing and we're rolling. We can also use the mash and spin where we're spinning and we're mashing and we're spinning and we're mashing. Okay, you want to make sure your potatoes are just the right consistency. Do you like lumps? I don't know, maybe you do. Do I like lumps? I don't really care. I'll eat the potato whole. Doesn't really matter to me. A little bit of Okay, Irish guys, time. just be quiet for a minute. Okay, guys. <laughs> I put the butter and the garlic. Now I'm going to add... Um, scoop, skip potatoes. Scoop, skip potatoes. Yeah, I'm doing it. <laughs> scoop, skip potatoes. Scoop, so skip potatoes. Da, 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 what you guys da, da, don't da, da. see behind the scenes at the Bogart house, <laughs> I get such a limited amount of camera time. She never lets me have it. Like, she just cuts me really? off. Shouldn't be called the Bogart. Should be called Martha Bogart. <laughs> and occasionally, you'll see one of the rest of us. That's not true. I'm cooking. You don't cook. I'm doing the videos when you're working. I don't cook. No, you're going to tell all your audience I'm not cooking right now? No, you're count. not. You're mashing potatoes, sweetie. Guys, we're going to put a little bit of whipping too. cream. Whipping cream? Whipping. Heavy whipping cream. Sorry. But yeah. she said whooping cream. Whooping. Okay, you're making fun of my accent again. Let's no, see. I, was just I say, say about a quarter cup. Quarter cup? You didn't measure that? You just... No, because I measure it with my heart, honey. That's a thing. Now we're going to add. But if you need to add more a little bit, you can add more. Okay, we're going to add now some sour cream. Rotate technique. Once the heavy whipping hi, cream hi, has hi, been hi, added, hi, the hi, mash hi. and rotate technique. Okay, and what we're trying to do is we want to bring the potatoes from the bottom to the top. Bring the potatoes from the bottom to the top. Bring the potatoes from the bottom to the top. And then we want to mash them. Uh, mash them. Uh, mash them. Uh, okay, I say to this um, about two, three of these big mm, tablespoons of sour cream because it's really, really good. So we have garlic, we have, we have butter, we have sour cream. We have heavy whipping cream. If you don't have heavy whipping cream, use milk, whatever you have uh, there handy. Who's your favorite Bogart? Comment down below. Marta Bogart. No, me. Oh, it's James. Actually, I know. The favorite Bogart is Ma it's Matthew and James Bogart. One other thing I like to do when I'm mashing potatoes is I like to drag the task out as long as I possibly can. As long as it looks like I'm exerting effort, I won't be bothered to do any other kitchen tasks. This is one of my strategies. I don't like cooking. As a result, 
I want to do as little as possible. To do as little as possible, I want you to see. You just told the world when you started that, oh, poor you, you're limited to only mashing the potatoes and yeah. da da da. And, I didn't say, and, wow, I was limited because I don't have any other skills. You're Play for I can, James, but look, I'm engaged. I quit after. Okay, yep. Okay, I think this is the same thing. I'm not liking, I'm trying to add some cream cheese, you guys, but I'm not liking the texture. So I'm trying. It's gotta be the fridge is too cold. I don't know. I don't Can know. You try it? What do you think? It's good? Yeah, it's fun. Two. Here, I'm gonna add some of this. Um, I don't have chives. I like to add some chives, but I don't have chives. So we're gonna use, this time we're gonna do it like this and it's really delicious. Just go ahead. I always add a little bit of Maggie or chicken powder, whatever you call it, to everything. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> this is my face. One of my face. I thought you did that on purpose. No. They're delicious. Mm. Oh my God, we're double dipping. You know, when we're famous, we're gonna get so much bad stuff for this how dare you put it in your mouth and put it here because it's our family only we're the only ones eating and we produce the children i know justin what do you think it's good it's perfect all right guys well i hope you've enjoyed my how to mash potatoes video it was informative and fun um if you like it uh give a thumbs up um and subscribe look what i have for you here you're gonna put that in the potatoes oh justin this is the best thing ever you don't want to drain that off the top, though. Because mm -hmm. if you put that in the potatoes, it'll be a soup. I'm not putting anything in the potatoes. Oh, that'd be delicious in the potatoes, though. Oh, those are those meatballs. No, those are not those meatballs. Oh, those are those. No, those are those uh, bar burst worst. What do you call? Ooh, bratwurst. Bratwurst. I cut them, and then I used two cans of uh, French onion soup. That looks good. Okay. And then I added some stuff in here, and I made it into like mm. a gravy. Let's eat. You're teasing now. Let's do this. I know, right? Okay. I love mashed potatoes. Oh, this is so hot, and it's perfect. Justin, do you want it on mashed potatoes, or do you want it on the side? On mashed potatoes. Oh, you want it on? Yeah, it's perfect. You know what? I'm going to do half and half for you. How about that? He just stole your fork. Here, sweetie, leave your blanket. Matthew. Matthew, he just woke up. Look how sweet you are, mama. He needs to go to ba uh, back to sleep. Here, baby. Matthew, mashed potatoes mommy has for you. Oh, Dad, it was your account I was calling on. You know how I knew? You said I wanted to be some. James, honey, enjoy your meal. Look at my gorgeous flowers. Mommy loves you boys. Oh,